I just found the absolute easiest, best way to create your own AI agents using ChatGPT. And the best part about all of this is that it's 100% free. I'm gonna show you how to set this up yourself and how you can have your own AI agents running right now in just a few minutes. It's insanely easy and it's a ton of fun, so let's jump right in. All right, so this platform is called surf.new. I've been doing a ton of research on AI agents and this is the easiest one I've found by far. It allows you to use your browser with AI to do a bunch of different tasks that basically an assistant would do for you. So very, very cool stuff. Stuff. And let's jump in right now. I'm going to show you how to use it and how you can set these up. So it's really, really easy. And basically all you have to do, you go, you go to surf.new. This is the website and you hit new chat. But before you do that, come down here and hit this little wheel, this browser user agent, and then you can set up the model provider you want to use. So I have uh, chat GPT open AI set up here. And essentially all you have to do is if you don't have an open AI account, just go to open AI, create your own account. And then once you do that, you're going to log in, you're going to go to the API platform, which I have here. They actually give you free tokens right now. So this is 100% free if you want to use this on free tokens. All you have to do is share your traffic uh, with OpenAI. So you can click this down here if you want to claim your free tokens. And then when you get those free tokens, all you do is go to the API. So I'm going to click right here, go to API keys, and you can set up your own keys. You can see I have an account with them. I've set up a bunch of keys and that's pretty much it. So I set up a key here for this agent. You copy that key. You come over to surf.new and to set that up, you add your key here. You're going to save the key. There's a little button to save the key right here, apply the changes and restart chat that and boom, you're ready to go. So they have some example ones here. So let's run through some of these real quick, just so you can see how this works. So we'll do this collect a list one, and we're gonna give this a shot, see how this works. All right, so you can see that the task is go to Hacker News and summarize the top five stories for me, format your response in Markdown. So you can see it used the internet, it went to Hacker News, which is now owned by Y Combinator. It did the first goal here. So navigate to Hacker News, summarize the top five stories. Next goal, navigate to the website, success. They navigated. Memory is summarizing the top five stories, extracting them, extracting the content successfully. The next goal is to summarize them and boom, it did that right here. Took the five stories and it summarized them for us. So here are the top five stories from Hacker News, et cetera. So you can see that it's basically doing tasks for us, right? That is the whole goal of this thing. So I did another one here, another example one, investigate the trade in value for an iPhone 13. It went to the, it Googled iPhone trade in value. It, so it searched Google for iPhone trade in, iPhone 13 Pro Max trade in value. It found the website, it clicked on the website. It opened up this trade in value area. It scrolled down. Uh, and it found the exact number and it says found iPhone iPhone 13 Pro Max trading values 370 bucks. Pretty low actually. I mean, I would I would expect it to be a tiny bit higher than that, but okay, fine, that's what it is. But yeah, so you can see that it goes out there and it does these tasks for you and it's set up in just a few minutes here. So, definitely the easiest way to do this. Now, another thing you could do if you're tech savvy, you could come over here to their GitHub repo, which is also free. You could download this and you could set it up and run it locally here with just basically setting up Node.js and Python, the API keys, setting this whole thing up, running it locally. And then you could have a bunch of these agents running locally, doing a bunch of different tasks for you at the same time. Pretty easy thing to do. If you want to see me do that, just drop a comment below. Let me know you want me to see me make that video and I'll do that for you guys. Also, if you like this kind of content, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And I do bring you a lot of really cool, insightful stuff just like this in the AI world. By the way, if you're interested in AI SEO, check out postcheetah.com. Quick plug. That's my AI SEO software. So, all right. So let's try something new. I'm going to do compare features and prices for the most popular newsletter services right now. So this is something I was actually looking into the other day. It took me a bunch of time to go through all the websites of all the big newsletter companies and see what their pricing and features was. It took me like half an hour to do all that. So let's set out this agent and see if it can do it for us. All right. So it went ahead and did that research for us and it came back with uh, some options here. So benchmark $13 a month, free for 500 contacts, MailChimp, free for 500 contacts, paid plan starting at 13 a month, free for up to 10,000 subscribers. Wow. Really? For Kit. Wow. So Kit's pretty cheap. Maybe I should move over to kit. That's actually pretty good. And then it went through the, the the rest of these. So this is actually pretty good stuff. So um, very cool to see that it can do this kind of research for me. So as you can see, this is very, very useful. I'm sure you can find a million practical uses for having AI do this for you, especially at zero cost. So very, very cool stuff. If you like this, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to bring you tons more like this.